Pakistan is a country in South Asia with a population of around 230 million and Islamabad is a capital city of Pakistan with a population of around 1.2 million. Trying to see everything that Pakistan has to offer is physically impossible. A person can spend a lifetime there and still not visit every corner of the country. So in today's video I'm going to share with you my top 10 places that you should visit if you ever travel to Pakistan. So guys please grab a pen and paper and get comfy or your notes whatever it is that for you to make notes while I go through my top 10 places to visit in Pakistan and get ready for an awesome video. My name is Salima. I create content on beauty, lifestyle, and vlogging. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell to be notified of every time I upload. Because as soon as I hit 500 subscribers, guys, I'm going to do a huge worldwide giveaway. So you've got to be in it to win it, guys. Follow me on a TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitter. Why not? For regular updates. And without further ado, Let's get into the video. In 10th place, we have a Clifton Beach. Clifton Beach is in Karachi and it's on the peninsula of the Arabian Sea. The beach is known for its stunning sunsets and also amazing views. And it's open to locals 24-7. You have the opportunity here of either going on a camel ride, a buggying in the sand, or even taking a boat ride, or why not jump on a horse? You'll find a vast amount of places to eat here from the local McDonald's through to local vendors giving you the opportunity to eat their de local delicacies such as the samosa jat or even some sort of halwa puri. There are regular events that happen here such as the New Year's Day event, local people actually put on events and concerts and also the Pakistan Air Show happens here from the Royal Air Force of Pakistan. In number nine we have in Babalpur. Babalpur is located in the arid landscapes of the desert and close to the border of India. Babalpur at one time was known for its princely state that was part of the Rajanpur Putan lifestyle. These states run from Babalpur all the way through Rajasthan in India. Babalpur has an array of monuments that you can visit from a beautiful fortress. The city has impressive monuments that date back to the era of the Nawabs, including the Nur Mahal, the Royal Tombs and the Golden Gate. Also you'll find a beautiful fort which is 100 kilometers from the south. The fort itself dates back to the 9th century AD. In eighth place we have Fairy Meadows or as we know it in Pakistan as Sefal Maluk. Pakistan is blessed with unmatched beauty and Fairy Meadows can easily be considered one of the most beautiful and luscious places to visit. It requires a hike of approximately three hours and is definitely a must visit place if you're ever visiting Pakistan. You'll find views of Nangam Parbat, the 800 meter plus mountain range which you can enjoy comfortably while having a cup of chai in one of the beautiful lodges. In seventh place we have Bir Swaba. This is 17 kilometers from Islamabad on top of the Markla Hills giving you uninterrupted unprecedented views of Islamabad. This is a cool alternative to Murray. It has an elevation of 3,000 plus feet giving you beautiful iconic views of the landscapes of Islamabad. You can also take a 45 minute trek to the top of Bistwaba. At the top you'll also find little huts giving offering sweet treats such as ice cream and little snacks or you can visit the most iconic and monumental restaurant which is known for its views and uh, which is Manal restaurant which is known for the cool ambience that it offers and outdoor seating or like I said, with the views of Islamabad. In sixth place, we have a Muhammad Khan Mosque, which is a 17th century mosque in the heart of Bashar. The mosque was built in 1630 by a Nawab known 
as Muhammad Khan, who was the father of Nawab Kurandesh Khan. The Marble White Mosque is one of the most iconic mosques that you will find in Peshawar. The mosque itself is on the highest point of the oil old city and it has an accommodation. It is 30,000 square feet and it has an open courtyard which is known for its ablution and it has a row of rooms along the exterior wall. In fifth place we have the famous Lahore Fort or Shai Kila as we say in Pakistan. Lahore Fort is a citadel within the old city of Lahore inside the walled city of Lahore. It spreads around 20 hectares of land. The fort contains 21 monuments which are notable from the Mughal era of the Emperor Akbar. The fort is divided into two sections, one which was for the family and one was for the visitors. The first is the administrative or the visitor section where you'll find the main entrance includes the gardens and divani khas for all the visitors and then you have the residential area which has um which you go through through the elephant gate which is includes the most famous room which is the shish mahal it has many small bedrooms and also uh, very small gardens surrounding it the exterior walls are decorated with blue persian kashi tiles there is a small entrance fee to pay i don't know what it is but then you can also get local guides to actually take you and walk you around there there's plenty of opportunities you can get english talking guides or other talking guides there's absolutely loads of opportunities for you to explore it and take your time when you're there because it is one of the be most beautiful things you'll ever see in fourth place we have the good old hunza valley hunza valley was created by the hunza river and it's a mountainous area surrounded by a range of mountains the valley is surrounded by various peaks such as ragaboshi the Ladyfinger Peak and Hunza Peak, which are come, some of them can be over 7,000 meters in height. Also here you'll find the Castle of Ballet, which is literally one of the rooms is standing on just legs of a chair. That's what they say. That amazing that you can actually go and explore. You'll also find prehistoric men and animal carvings are made out of stone, such as the local Buddhist um, or the Buddha um, that you'll see uh, surrounding the area. It's also the Kundrabad Pass over 4,600 meters in length that connects Hunza and well northern Pakistan or Pakistan itself to the southwestern borders of China. You can also visit the 57 kilometer Batura Glacier which is the longest glacier outside the polar region and if you're quiet enough you can actually hear it crackling it's so beautiful. The people of Kunza are known for their hospitality and friendliness so you never know they might ask you to play a ball a game of cricket with you in third place we have Faisal Mosque which is on the footsteps of Margla Hills in Islamabad it is the fifth largest mosque in in the world and the largest mosque in South Asia it is named after the late King Faisal the first who actually gave a grant for the building of the mosque of around 28 million dollars the mosque to be built. An international competition that was held to give the design of the mosque and a Turkish architect won this design. The mosque is inspired by the idyllic Bedouin tent and its contemporary in design. Construction of the mosque started in 1976 and the actual first place in the mosque on the 18th of June 1988. The mosque can hold around 300,000 worshippers at one time and out of them 200,000 usually are in the surrounding areas and there's about 100,000 that can take place the mosque site which is 10,000 of them is in within the mosque itself and and then the inner courtyard can hold another 74,000 people. The structure itself covers 33 acres of land and accommodates literally the landscape of Islamabad. And this is one of the most iconic visited place in Pakistan and especially in the capital. In second place we have Wagga which is 
on the border of Pakistan and India where there's a special Vaika border ceremony which takes place with the Pakistan Rangers and the Indian Special Forces every day throughout the year. The parade is free to watch and as I said it's seven days a week and it's usually held in the evenings um, normally around 4.30pm and it lasts for around 45 minutes. It's to show the solidarity between the two countries and it's also to show the brotherhood and the rivalry between the two countries as well. It's all a showcase of dance like events and also uh, the raising of the legs. It's absolutely amazing to watch. You really get into the spirit of watching this event and I absolutely love it. I do advise you arrive one hour early to get the best seats and also as you're traveling to the border, you there is a lot of security checkpoints so allow for time for that to happen and you can also get little snacks from there there's people that are selling little things so there's always bring yourself a little picnic along as well the most iconic place and the most visited place in pakistan is the badshai mosque and this has taken my number one spot in my top 10 places to visit in Pakistan. This is a Mughal era mosque which is made from red sandstone and it can be found in the heart of Lahore right next to the Lahore fort. The masjid was constructed by the Mughal emperor Aurangzeb in 1671 up until 1673. It was the largest mosque until 1986 when Faisal Mosque was built. The exterior of the mosque is decorated in red sandstone and it's got a marble inlay. This is the third largest mosque in Pakistan. Near the entrance of the mosque we have the notable grave of the most honoured individual Muhammad Iqbal, a notable poet and influential individual who started the Pakistan movement for Pakistan to seek independence from India. You'll find his grave at the entrance. Also you'll also find Sir Sikandar Hayat Khan's grave who is noted for his influential decision making and preservation and modifications of the mosque itself to preserve it for us for like people like us today um, you can visit his grave as that's also at the entrance as you enter the mosque there are a few rooms which are closed off um, and however there is a couple of rooms that are open to the public one of these rooms have the blessed hair of Prophet Sallam and also beautiful artifacts from the time of Prophet Sallam and also different olia and you can find them there as well and honestly you need to experience this place to experience just praying a mosque there you'll feel just that such peace it's absolutely serene the mosque can hold around 10,000 worshippers at one time and it covers an area of around 276,000 square meters this is a must visit location if you're going to come to Pakistan that my friends brings me to the end of this video when to visit Pakistan video um so why don't you visit which i'll leave linked up here and guys make sure to subscribe to my channel because like i said i've got a giveaway coming pretty soon so you gotta be in it to win it and yeah follow me on snapchat instagram and tiktok and give this video a thumbs up so it reaches more people like yourselves i hope you've enjoyed it let me know where you'd like to visit or where you've been in pakistan um because like I said, there's so many other places that I can recommend. I need to know where you would go so I can go there too. Anyways, guys, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Bye!